Hello and welcome to Grocery Shopping Online. This is part three. In part one, we had a look at the registration process. In part two, we looked at the booking a delivery slot. In this one, we're going to be looking at actually doing the shopping. So finding the produce. So we'll be looking at three methods of finding the produce. Adding that produce to our shopping basket increasing and decreasing the quantities or removing the item adding any items to our favorite list so that next time we go shopping we're not going to be hunting all around the site for the same items again then finally we're going to be looking at the checkout process so i think you'll find that this is going to be as straightforward as the other videos there is a bonus towards the end as to showing you why it is so important to book the delivery slot at the beginning. So without further ado, shall we go through the process? So we're going to look for some eggs and I'm going to use the search bar here to type eggs. And you'll notice that there's a drop down came down with a whole list and I just selected eggs. Now you'll notice there's milk here. What milk has got to do with eggs? I don't know. But you'll see also there's down here there's egg custard tarts, pork egg rolls. So using the search bar, unless you're specific, will be just generic. So what we're going to do is we're going to click shop over on the left, come down to fresh, then we're going to look for eggs or milk eggs and butter in this case just hover the mouse over it don't click anything until we get to this third drop down menu then we're going to click eggs now this page will have nothing but eggs there will be no milk no pork egg rolls there we go all eggs so all we need to do is click add and you'll see that that's been added to our shopping trolley and the plus and minus has appeared so you can add so we've now added two boxes of eggs to our trolley click that again we've now added three boxes of eggs to our trolley and we've got the minus button and we can reduce the quantity if we want to well, let's continue shopping so we go back to shop and select some produce and we're just going to keep doing this until we get to the minimum £40 spend for this particular service. So here we go, add, and then once you click add, you notice you get the plus and minus. So if you were to hit the minus at this moment in time, that would then take it out of your shopping trolley. And we're just going to keep this, but I want to show you a filter. So let's assume that I can't eat dairy products, but I still want to have something that tastes similar to cheese. We can click filter. We can come down to suitable for vegans and then click enter. And there you go, fake cheese. Just add that to the basket and then increase the quantity if you want to. So we could add this to our favourites list if we wanted to. So by adding something to our favourites list, it means we don't have to search the website next time we go there. We just click favourites and it's done. So if I click here where it's down the bottom, there's the favourites list. So if I click add to favourites, you notice the heart change colour. So next time we go shopping, we're not having to search. We just click the heart that's next to the shop add all the items that we buy on a regular basis and uh, off we go so what we're going to do here is we're going to add some bread now we're going to go to food cupboard now notice I clicked on food cupboard and didn't go across this is a third way of shopping and it brings a, a list down the left hand side here so that's your third method of shopping this site and uh, it all boils down to personal preference which you, you which one you find easiest to use 
Again, we click add and there's your plus and minus again. We got 35, 85 pounds worth of goods, but we need a minimum of 40. So we need to keep shopping. And I'm gonna add this to the favorites list again. There you go. So if we click on shop, let's add some more products. And uh, we have barley, why not? So there we go. Uh, again, let's say plus and minus. Click on the image and you can click add to favorites. So we've seen some of the items I've added to my favorites and in a moment, here we go, you're gonna see that there are some items in here that were not in this tutorial. That's because I added them earlier on. And you'll notice this one had three items there. You can plus or minus that. But because I've reduced it back down to one, we're now back under the 40 pound. So we need to increase our quantity. So let's uh, let's add something, shall we? But before I do that, let me show you how to remove an item from your favorites. So what we do is gonna click on the image and it says remove from favorites. And you'll notice the heart has changed color and it also says add to favorites. So I click back on favorites and it still shows it's there. I'm going to refresh the screen and it's gone. Now you don't have to refresh the screen, you just continue shopping and next time you go back in it will have gone. So one more time, remove and then there we go and you'll find that the bacon and the eggs have been removed from our favourites list. So I'm going to add the bread, I'm going to increase the quantity and I'm going to add some milk and increase the quantity and now we're over the £40 minimum and that's changed to where it says savings of £4.50. So we click shop the shopping trolley, you notice the shopping trolley's changed colour, tells us how much savings we've got, how many items we have, if there's a delivery charge and if there's any bag charges. So at this point if you wanted to, you could add or decrease items or you can remove it from your trolley by clicking the minus. But we're going to click check out and you'll notice some more options here. So we have payment details, add a payment method, change collection and voucher. So if you've got any shopping vouchers, you can click that. But we're going to place an order. And you'll notice it's recognised I haven't entered a credit card. So we need to enter the long credit card number, the expiry date, and the security code, which is usually on the back. Unless it's American Express, then it's on the front. And it's usually the last three numbers. So what we would do is we would click continue, and you will have finished your shopping. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching. So here's a little bonus feature of why booking a slot is important. Now I went away and had myself a bite to eat and a cup of tea and when I came back to log back in this was what greeted me. So there's about 3,000 people in front of me uh, with five minute wait approximately. There's now 2,900 but I'm not going to make you wait these four or five minutes. So I'm going to jump forward to the last few seconds and uh, you'll find that when we do book in that the, the booking slot has been saved for us. So let's log back in. Here we go. And I'd cleared out the trolley, I emptied the trolley, because I was going to start again. But you'll see that the booking slot has been saved. So you can shop this, this website at your leisure, so don't feel rushed. And we can continue shopping. So I hope you find this uh, little bonus feature helpful. And thank you for watching.